I'm Didi. Hey everybody, Armand here, T-Skills. And today we have a question again, and it's about our morning ritual. Well, that's a very, very good question, because, you know, in the morning you have the chance to set up yourself for the day. So maybe, you know, first we're going to look at Didi, what she's doing, and um, yeah, so tell us, what, what, what's, your, what's your ritual? My ritual is, well, first get up, <laughs> and then the uh, first thing I do, after, of course, going to the toilet, is uh, that I sit down with my journal and then I write down uh, three things. First, I start with what I love about myself, a couple of sentences, then uh, gratitude, what am I thankful for? Um, yeah, that can be anything. And then uh, what are my intentions for the day? Wow, so you really start with a mindset yeah. approach, really, yeah. right? It's not only the mindset, it's also like, a f you could say, a feeling set. Because if you yeah. were looking at, if you start with what you love about yourself, yeah. I mean, that, that gives me sort of, you know, goosebumps. <laughs> so can you tell a little bit on when you started that and, and how that got into your yeah. life? Yeah, actually, uh, it started when I read a book by Kate Northrop about a uh, money a love story and it was really about how do you perceive yourself so i was like okay and she said do it do this for 21 days oh okay yeah and i still write a number every <laughs> day like when i write down um uh, in my journal i write down what day it is or not what day but how many days i've already done it so, so and where are you now I'm somewhere around 900. So oh, wow. Uh, so I do love a lot about myself. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's awesome because I think she she said like do 21 days because 21 days yeah. is like this magic number if you want to yeah. build in a routine, right? So exactly. she, she well yeah. that worked with you yeah. for sure. Yeah. So and then um, and then another thing. So I write these three things down and then I have this beautiful picture of myself as a child and I always connect with my inner child in the morning so i just say good morning and um how are you doing how are you doing how are you feeling and, yeah and um i'm so glad you're here with me for this day so um wow and that that was something i picked up from another course uh the mother wound course by bethany webster and since i've been doing this there is this great shift in my life because it really got a connection with my inner child and with my feeling and I do understand where things are coming from so yeah yeah, this yeah. Is, uh, so and when you're talking about like the shift going through well, because that's it's already a couple of years so uh, I mean how if you would go back like before right before you started this and yeah. how you feel now what are the main differences how you, what's your outlook on yourself the the world, uh, yeah. your, your it, being. It's, my day just is not the same. If I do it, if I don't do it. Mm. So uh, it just sets the intentions for the day. And it really starts with going, in my, going into myself yeah. for these, well, it's maybe five to ten minutes. It's not a long, <laughs> a long ritual. No, but, it's yeah. just a short ritual. Uh, but very profound. Very I mean, profound, yeah. yeah. And it just, um, yeah, it turned my life around yeah. doing yeah. this and, and some other stuff in the morning. But this is one of the, this is the thing that I will never skip. Wow, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like that's just the bottom line for your yeah. day is setting these intentions. Yeah. Get yeah. in connection with yourself, with your inner being. Yeah. And I think also, you know, um, and we can talk about that a little bit later as well, because I'm doing that as well. But starting from a gratitude, you know, starting from grat yeah. gratitude. I mean, that's yeah. that's really profound, and, right? And what you see when you do this day after day after day after day, you see for how many things you're grateful. There are so many things. I mean, um, you can be grateful for... Uh, great connections you can be grateful for the plants that grow around your house you can be grateful for the rain or the sun or the stars or the moon or you can be grateful for 
Um, people in your life. Pe- and- yeah, but also the small things that, that you, there is um, a butterfly outside your window or, you know, it's all these things add up. And, and when you write it down every day, it's getting more into your uh, consciousness. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think you you see more, you, you yeah. feel more, you experience more. And uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. with the writing down what your intentions are, again, it's being being very clear on what you do want that day. Yeah. So if you said in the morning that you want connection, you want clarity, you want to have a fun day, and then you maybe go out and somebody yells at you, you, you think, no, but that was not what what I want to do today. So I react in a different way to this person. Yeah, so it doesn't really land on you because you're not in that sort of receptive state yeah. for that. You're, you're yeah. coming from a, from a gratitude point yeah. of, uh, well, view, yeah. but point yeah. of, yeah, that's, that's where you're coming from, exactly. right? Exactly. So, uh, yeah, and it's hard to, uh, so if you look at the ego, <clears throat> right? I mean, you could say in the mornings like, yeah, I just want to feel good, right? And concentrate, I'm going to feel yeah. good, which is good, you know? Um, but your your ego might be a little bit like, yeah, really, you know, it, it, you know, it's raining, it's raining, it's yeah. pouring, you know, and you have this colleague you're gonna see in a couple of, you know, there, there's all these things yeah. that can trigger that, yeah. right? But whereas you go to gratitude, yeah, the ego so sort of has to step back, right? Yeah. It's like okay, the ego cannot sabotage gratitude, yeah, exactly. and that's a very important thing. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. So, any physical things? Yeah. So, uh, after doing this, I'm gonna walk with the dog. Yeah. Because awesome. he stands there. He wants to go out, and that's 25 minutes of walking around. We have a lovely park here, so walking outside, breathing, and um, yeah, I try to just be there. It's not always, <laughs> but I just try to really be there with him and yeah. yeah. So that's my first physical uh, exercise. And then I come back and most of the times you've cooked our breakfast yep. and then we eat some war- uh, a warm meal. Yep. We, most, uh, most of the times that's soup with um, a lot of veggies. And after the soup, and also during our breakfast, we um, we will say, say uh, like yeah. uh, affirmations, affirmations, right? So yeah. we Before bless the food, and yeah. you know what, what, what do we want of this yeah. day? But it's it's mostly some some things are so, so we'll always 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 the same. You could yeah. say yeah. so, um, and we always end up with all is well. Yeah, it's like all is yeah. well. Yeah, right? uh, let everything that needs to yeah. come come. Let everything that needs to go go. All is well. That's, yeah. We say that with every meal, right? Yeah. So, and that's also very powerful. I love that we're doing that. So, and after that, I do my um, uh, stretches. Yeah, yeah. And so some uh, salutation the, yoga, yeah, right? Yeah, and things like yeah. that. Yeah. That's also something I've done for years and years and years. So, uh, I really open my body. And then uh, we've started the kettlebell swings again. And if we have, so it depends on how much time we have. Yeah. If we have some more time, we'll do some meditation. And uh, otherwise, then our day starts. Yeah. And yeah. a shower in between, of course. <laughs> That's a nice one. So, yeah. We're lucky with that. Yeah. yeah. For so sure, there's sure. a part that I do myself and there's a part that we do together yeah. most of the time. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, cool. I mean, and it's, it's, it's changed everything, right? I mean, oh, yeah. uh, so there's this mindset thing. There's the, there's the food. There's the ritual with the dog, where, which we are grateful for, right? I mean, yeah. you, you, any kind of weather, you have to go outside and, uh, and, and walk. Yeah. So we're, we're getting a lot of walking in the day as well. Um, so my own ritual starts with a power stretching. So I want to first start on the physical, uh, with the physical. So I, I'll do exercises that are about extreme stretches, combined with vital breathing, a poor breathing, and throwing. So what I do with that is that I, uh, I get myself really connected with my vital energy. Uh, it's fascia strengthening. And there's a relaxation. The song uh, comes after that as well. And if that's like 10 minutes. I do that for 10 minutes. I feel vital. I feel open. The construction is open. It, it feels like 
well, it feels like home, really, right? So I, that's the first thing I'm doing. After that, I will be 10 minutes on the trampoline. So the trampoline will even reinforce more of the fascia uh, building. It will reinforce more soon, but it will it will throw everything around. It's it's vital. I mean, it's a construction building. It's um, and very playful. As and well. very playful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it just throws the energy yeah, around, right? Yeah. I mean, look at little children on uh, on trampolines, and uh, you know, yeah. uh, you become a little child again. So there's this connection as well, right? This inner yeah. inner child thing. I mean, I start my day. I'm a, I'm quite a physical guy, so I like to start physical. But after that, I have the same sort of routine with Didi as Didi. I sort of stole my routine a little bit from uh, Tony Robbins um, because he's he's a little bit also about... Uh, there's like this three-part thing, right? So the first thing I do is uh, the same. It's like gratitude. I, I like I like to go to a gratitude. Um, the second thing I'm doing is that I think of a couple of people uh, who need some, you know, some help or that I know are in difficult times or whatever, and I send them a little prayer. And the third thing is also I think about my three main objects of the day, the, the tasks of the day. I project them between my hands and I breathe vital energy in there. So that's really a hermetic uh, approach to setting intentions because I'm in the vital field. And I look at the thing I want to accomplish and then I see it happen. And that really, really, really helps. Um, and then the routine for now at this moment is that I'm doing a lot of Akasha and light training, which I learned from uh, Mark Rasmus. It's uh, hermetic training. So I used to do a lot of form training, Tai Chi training and things like that. But it has shifted uh, towards this training for sure now because that's sort of where the magic is for me now. Uh, I learned that like four years ago or something. I'm teaching this as well now, and uh, that really helps me to get in the good good mood, in the good flow, and uh, and 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 you know, akasha training, which is buji training, if you uh, use the the Chinese word for that, it's all about law of attraction, really. It's all about yeah. recognizing stagnations, drawing things towards you. Um, the light training is really a cleansing. It's more like, okay, I want to be able to be my truest self right so that's what hermetic training is all about is, is getting rid of any stagnations and this is more like high level training to uh, to accomplish that so i'll be doing that a lot uh, in the morning and then uh from there yeah i'll cook breakfast uh, have breakfast and we mm -hmm. we are we've 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 become very sharp with our routines yeah. because we found that it really helps and one thing also is very important no screens no before no. uh before our breakfast right it's only and for I, after actually, our breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first be done with your rituals. Yep. And then it's time to get into the flow of the day. And then yeah. if, we, if we're if we recording a podcast, after that. We yeah, will even be, after that. Yeah. 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 So we, the Wi-Fi is off now. We're recording this, right? And it's, yeah. it's not on. No screens. Yeah. Um, we've been really, really... I, I mean, it's a bit of a, you know, a double-edged sword, of course. Uh, I mean... Uh, you're listening to this somewhere on the internet, right? But we've we've been using internet to our adv advantage now, right? We wanna we wanna be really careful when we're using internet, when we're online, and what we're doing online. And then from there, we're gonna look at okay, now it's off. We can just turn it off and no more internet. And that yeah. really, you know, it's still a lot more time. A lot more time, <laughs> but it's an energy drainer and, for sure. Yeah, so you'll yeah. you'll you'll and feel so well. much better. You you'll sleep better yeah. and everything. So. So again, yeah. be very conscious with that as well. Yeah. 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 And from there, you know, my day will unfold. Like I teach a lot. So I'll yeah. be teaching form. I will be teaching partner training. I will be doing a lot of things. Uh, but this is the bottom line for me. And the bottom line is that you can influence how you feel and how you start your day instead yeah. of like external stuff coming in. Yeah. Right. Um, and no, I want to start from the internal and then yeah. outwards. And that really, really helps. And uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, and we'll be doing more of that. So yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Done. Well, I hope this helps. Yeah. Right. Uh, shed some light on what we're doing, and uh, hopefully, yeah. you're building your own routine, and maybe you are already uh, having a routine. And uh, well, share it. You know, we yeah. love to hear what you're doing. And um, absolutely. And yeah. if you do have a question for us for one of our chi quests, then please send it to info at chiskills.com. We're very happy to answer them. So. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So, thanks for listening. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And like and subscribe. 
and see you. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.